Good morning, guys, from outside the bus. Woo! Woo! Cody, today's a good day. I know. All right. So we're over here at this park that we like. And we mainly like it because, I mean, look at the scenery. You know, you get a nice breeze. The water is beautiful. The sun is glistening off of it. And uh, the other reason I really like it is because I can pretty much, within reason, of course, do whatever I need to do on the bus, near the bus, outside the bus, you know, without anybody saying anything or bothering me. And, uh, you know, I try to take advantage of that whenever I can. So today I took the bumper, I took the bus, I should say, to the car wash this morning. And I scrubbed it as much as I could with a scrub brush and I pressure washed it and everything and tried to get all the crap out. A lot of stuff came out, but there is still a couple things on here that I'm gonna have to try. I'm thinking about trying like a razor blade or something. So, you know, to try to scrape the rest of that off and then I'll wipe it down one more time. And then I'm gonna go run to the store and get some paint and see how this goes. I'm also gonna sand down this hitch and spray that down so it has like a, you know, like a rust coating on it. That way it doesn't look so rusty and everything because it's raw steel. So it, it, you know, there was no protective anything on it. So as soon as the water hit it, it just started to rust up. But it's just surface rust and I want to keep it that way. All right, guys, we're back out here. I grabbed some stuff from Home Depot and from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use a blade to scrape as much of this stuff off as I can. This, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to make it flush and it's just gonna have to stay on there. There's not really too much I can do. I don't know if I can bang these out, but it looks like the screws go all the way through to this frame, so. And unfortunately, you can't really get to them even behind here. I don't know why. I don't know how they made that. So, we're just gonna have to deal with it for now until I figure out something else. All right, guys, so I taped up, as you can see, and I masked up with a clear drop cloth. Uh, I just got this from Dollar Tree. Just taped it up real quick. Nothing super crazy. So we're gonna hit this whole bumper. I tried getting this stuff as, you know, it just seems like it's like dirt marks. I don't know, I rubbed them, I scrubbed them. It doesn't wanna come off, so it is what it is. And then we're also gonna hit this hitch and try to clean that up a little bit and make that look a lot better. So let's get to it. So what I'm gonna be using today, this is bare paint and primer in one. And uh, basically I'm just gonna spray it on. I sanded everything down already. Wiped it down, removed all the loose debris, and I also bought a aftermarket like grip trigger spray. I think this will especially come in handy when I do the rest of the bus because I'm going to be holding that thing down forever. And after a while, I think my finger is going to start to hurt. So hopefully this helps. All right, well, let's get to it. All right, so it was kind of difficult holding the camera and doing all this. I really have to invest in like a tripod for you guys so that you guys can see what I'm actually doing. But this is the first coat. Obviously, this still needs to be you know, stuff we hit and hit over again, but it looks pretty good. And then I also did a first coat on the hitch. So that's coming out really nice too. It already looks a million times better. Pretty happy with that. I just did the bar part. I may do this if I have enough paint. We'll see. All right, guys, this is the last and final coat. I really wish the sun was beaming on this thing so you guys could actually see better. Maybe if we move the bus later, I'll re-show you, but this is three coats, nice and thick. They came out really nice. Obviously, it's still drying. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, you know, like in this area, you know, you can still see it's drying in a couple places. Uh, this bear spray paint says it dries in 15 to 30 minutes. So, and luckily today we have not one bad cloud in the sky. Although when I first started this project earlier today, uh, it had started raining. So I went back inside and they waited till the coast was completely clear. So. That's all done. The hitch looks a million times better. The bumper looks a lot better. You know, now we don't have to worry about this bumper falling off, that rubber bumper we had. And then over here, as you can see, my uh, lovely tape job. I am not a, a body guy by any means. I gotta tape this part up. But I started sanding down this wheel well cover. And we're gonna wipe that down after and then hit that. And then that's gonna look just like the rear bumper. It's all gonna match. Eventually, I would love to do that front grill black. I think that would look so mean, but uh, all in due time. So let me wipe down that wheel well, and then I'm gonna spray that, and I'll get back with you guys, and I'll show you what the first coat looks like. Guys, first coat on the fender well. So it's not completely covered, but oh my God, it looks so badass. Ooh, sorry for the cursing. I try not to do that on this channel. 
but oh my god it looks so good i cannot wait till this bus is like that that tan like that desert sand tan that is gonna look so good with it hang on excuse the generator i'm gonna do this front grill the same black the flat black it's gonna do the grill and the bumper oh. This thing is gonna look bad when it's done. I can't wait, I'm super excited. I'm gonna have to find, I'm gonna try to go with this paint. This paint is excellent, goes on really good and uh, dries pretty quick. So I'm gonna see if they have like a desert sand tan uh, in this type of paint, that way I could just do the whole thing. These are about five or six bucks a piece. But I'm gonna go online and see if I can order like a tan color in bulk. I'm probably gonna need, I don't know maybe 25, 30 cans, maybe more, I don't know. I watched a whole bunch of schooly, you know, they, they paint them themselves. And uh, I, I think most of them use, for this, about this size bus, like a five window bus, they use about 25, 30 cans. So I could always order 30, and if I don't use all five, just keep them for touch-ups or whatever down the road. But I'm gonna let that dry for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna hit it with another coat. All right, I employed Sam, and I got Sam over here attempting to sand. Trying to get some of these deeper scratches out that the previous person put in. I didn't do these. Yeah, Sam didn't I know how to drive. Sometimes. <laughs> I just cut people off. <laughs> no, she, no, she doesn't. She's a very safe person. Yes, I am. Stop it. Mm -hmm. All right, you got a breath? All right. I guess this is where I take over. So we did the other side that has three coats on it. I'm just waiting for it to dry. And on the rear bumper, I just took the plastic off. It's still drying a bit, but I figured I'd take the plastic off and let even more airflow, you know, go in front of it and behind it. It'll dry a little quicker, but it looks, it looks really good. It looks much better than it did. All right, let me finish sanding this side and I'm gonna spray this side. All right, guys, here's the finished product. So it's still drying, believe it or not. I'm guessing it's cause it's stupid humid out here. It's like really humid. You can't stand out here without sweating, so. Um, it's still drying, you, know, you can still see like a little bit of patches, but it looks really nice. It looks way better than before. And the bumper is still drying as well, you can see that. Almost there. And then the same thing for this side, still drying. But this side is more dry than the other side, I believe. But it looks really good. I'm very excited to paint the rest of this bus. Alright, so we enjoyed our shakes last night, so we decided to get another one. <laughs> Except this time we're just going to go over and take the bike and uh, leave Cody here. He'll have the generator and the AC all hooked up and we'll be back in like 10 minutes. So yeah, catch up with you guys when we get back. All right, got our shakes. We got Cody out here. Damn, Cody, you are super hyper. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so tell everybody what's going on. Oh man, I look like a fat marshmallow. Uh -huh. Yeah, just do it from the head up. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lunch going on tonight and we didn't know. There's so many people here, and we're like, why are there so many people here? I start from the head up. And <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's a launch tonight that we're gonna hopefully catch and upload. Look at the sky. Nice. So, we're gonna be looking in that general direction over here. And that's where we're gonna see the rocket go off. So stay tuned, and I'll check back in once it goes off. It goes off at 8.02. Wow, look at it. Yeah, I can hear it. Damn it, I missed my plane. <laughs>
like the other one's coming back down now. Like next to it, yeah. That's how it like push? It's moving the clouds or whatever out of the way. Did you guys see that rocket? How cool is that? Unfortunately, the GoPro has a zero zoom on it, so it's kind of hard. But I think Sam got some video. Did you go live on Instagram? No. Uh, we did shoot some video though on her phone. So if you guys want to maybe get a little bit of a closer look, you can look on our Instagram and check that video out. But and we got bit so bad. The bugs over here. As soon as the sun sets the mosquitoes come out in full force and they go right at your ankles so we couldn't stay out there too long but if you guys saw the second part of that uh, clip that was when the booster was coming back down to earth so it's really cool that was actually the first uh, civilian rocket to go off and uh, it's a big deal actually so you guys might want to look into it that was a Falcon 9 rocket and they are a pretty popular rocket actually they've been sending quite a few of those up lately so yeah all right, so we're going to pack it up here, guys. I'm going to close this vlog out. We're going to clean up a little bit because it's a mess from cooking and, you know, doing everything else today with the bus and spray painting it. But we're, tomorrow's vlog, you guys are going to see us. Tomorrow we really have to get stuff done. Yeah, tomorrow we are going to storage. I am picking everything up. We are stopping at Walmart to get food because I didn't get anything today. And we have to do laundry. And, and we're doing laundry. We got, I got a whole bunch of things I still have to do. I just got, you know, distracted with this painting the bus thing. So... We're going to do all that tomorrow, and then tomorrow night we will be heading up to Georgia. It's Nomad Fest. I'm excited to see everybody, we're to see all the houses. Yeah, you can check in after 8 a.m., and you have to be out by 2 p.m. on the 20th. So keep that in mind if you are going. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I see some of you guys at Nomad Fest.